Okay, so you guys know what spotlight is, right? So if you press command space, you get spotlight and you can search for, for anything you want. Alfred, Alfred is just building on spotlight and doing a little bit more with it. Um, so if you're, if you're not used to it. I didn't get that. Nope. Could you try again? Okay, Siri. <laughs> I must have said something that sounds like so. Siri. Okay, so my recommendation is like, we'll take a look at Alfred, but you really want to start maximizing Spotlight first. So with Spotlight, command space, and you can start. This is the way I, I taught you guys to launch applications, right? So if you wanna launch a notes app, you just type in, you push return, and then it, then it starts. Say that again, sorry, I missed. Okay, so command space brings up this box mm -hmm. with the search, right? Okay. So if you wanna start an application, pick, in, lead a, pick an application that I probably have on my computer. Like um, pages. Pages. So I'm gonna push command space and type pages. I probably only have to type a couple letters. PA pulls up pages and I can press return. Ah. Okay, got it. So to me, and my computer is going to be a little bit slow, but. When I start. pressed command space, a uh, Siri came up. I think um, press it quickly. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah. So if you, that's it. I, I just found that out too. If you press and hold command space, you get Siri. But if you just quick quickly tap uh, command space, then you get, um, you get spotlight. Okay. Uh, so spotlight, spotlight can do all kinds of things in your computer. Um, if I show you everything Spotlight can do, I'm, I'm going to go to System Preferences. So I went Apple, System Preferences, and Spotlight. OK, so this is everything Spotlight can do. Applications, that's what I just showed you. You can look up contacts. So you know I can look up Joan. And it's not looking, okay, it's just thinking. Go. My computer's very slow today. So if I look up a contact, I can now just click on message and her phone number, and then I'm, I'm gonna message her. Okay, so messages opens up and I can start typing that message. Mm. Okay, so real fast, right? Um, calculator, that's another good one. So if I bring up, spotlight um and i just want to do some quick math right 562 times 23. Hmm. okay so can you really copy that, that answer then yeah uh i think so i don't know what i typed in before but spotlight searching can do a whole lot of stuff so if you don't want to pay any money this is probably where you should start. Just command space and start searching for different things. Arlen, wh while you're there, can I ask, what are the keyboard shortcuts down at the lower left-hand corner? Uh, oh, this oh, that screen. This yeah. The four spotlight. Your, okay. All of yours probably says command space, and that's what I keep saying verbally. But what I'm actually pushing on my keyboard is not command space because I put Alfred, you know, Alfred is the butler on Batman. And it's, it's supposed to be something like that where Alfred does all these things for you. Mm. Right. Okay. So there's Alfred. Is he a quiet Siri? He just like spotlight. So this is spotlight. Mm. Right. And this is Alfred. Okay. And, and basically, if you, if you get the, um, the free version, 
Alfred does basically everything Spotlight does and then only adds a few things. Um, so what I'm just doing is I'm searching for the file because I just wanted to open that file. This is, these are my notes. To me, Spotlight, Spotlight can search for files. Um, let's see if it'll come up. Okay, so the features in Alfred and Spotlight are overlap a, a great deal. So you have to figure out when you might want to upgrade to Alfred. Does that make sense? Yes. So you should just you should just start using Spotlight, and if you ever want to know what Spotlight can do, the Apple System Preferences and this is the list of all the things it can do, like definitions. There we go. Avocado. So description is down. Definition is down below. Definition is down here. So I'm using the arrow keys to go through these, mm -hmm. and then I you can get a definition. Mm. So Alfred does pretty much all of these things. Why would so, you so want to use Alfred? Why, why would we want to use it? I think Alfred is better at at file searching. So you saw me, you saw me look for um, that file, uh, Mac Utility Apps. I think Alfred is a little faster with with searching for files. Um, Alfred searches the web really well. I know none of you shop on Amazon. I set up Alfred to, if I press the A and then I, a space and then anything after this, I'm gonna search Amazon to find something, right? Like, um, what do I wanna buy on Amazon? Face masks. So that's gonna just pull up Oh, this. Do, an, do an instant search into Amazon. So does uh, Spotlight have those shortcuts too? Can you set it up in Spotlight like that? No, Spotlight is not real customizable like that. Like in, okay. in Spotlight, you could probably go to Amazon.com and hit return. And it, I think it should open up the website, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, there it is. Okay. So Spotlight can open a website, just a site. Alfred will be able to search in that site. Does that does this make sense? Yes. Yes. It's like a, a deeper shortcut. A deeper shortcut, right? So Alfred can also search into um, Gmail. So if I type Gmail space uh, MacLearn. This is actually trying to go through my school email and it's it's not going to find anything. But can you see what I did? So yes, 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 yes. It, from here, from doing something in Microsoft Word or Pages or just on the desktop, wherever I am, I can just push the shortcut for Alfred, type Gmail space, and then something like something I want to look for. Uh, and then it's gonna go into searching Gmail for me. Those power power searching features are what um, Alfred does really well. Alfred also does, um, I guess, system commands. So if I type, uh, sorry, I can't type, empty, it'll empty the trash for me. And to my knowledge, Spotlight doesn't have a command like that where I can just go in and empty the trash. Um, I could do screensaver and it'll start the screensaver, uh, sleep, put the computer to sleep. So those kind of, those kind of, if, if you like to just, um, type those kind of things and then let it, let it happen. Those are pretty nice. Okay. So those are, th that's what you could do. If, if that searching thing is all you get Alfred for, it, it might be worth it. Um, if you do a lot of shopping or searching your Gmail.
Okay, and these are all the things that you can search for. Um, drive. I use Google Drive a lot. And this is just to remind me what I can search for, right? So drive, space, rental, contract. So that's going to search through all through my Google Drive. So I, I don't know if you guys are like power users of Google Drive. Schools and a lot of businesses use Google for a lot of things. So we basically put everything in Google. Um, I set up a couple of custom ones. So this is getting into the paid, uh, the paid area. So Pastor Bob, you might like this. Vspace would only open a Bible passage. So like John 11. Totally, I don't know, totally geeky, but it's, it's a time saver, right? So if, you, if you're kind of a power user, you want to just start searching for things quickly. Um, instead of opening this website, typing in here, clicking the search button, you know, I can just search. Um, and then it just, you know, it just pops up. Arlen, I have, um, Alfred, I have the paid version, but I didn't know I could do that. So thank you for showing me that. Yeah, yeah. So I can show you how to set this up later. Uh, but it's down here, add a custom search, and you just have to figure out uh, this this thing, <laughs> whatever this is, and you can um, you can search for that. So really, any website you go to, you can do that kind of search. If you're into movies, you probably search IMDb. So that would work here. Hamilton, since that was brought up earlier. Okay, and we can find that that movie. This searching thing, it's really cool. Um, if you start to get used to this, it's it's really cool. If you get into the paid features, like um, the clipboard history is indispensable for me. I think every single person needs a clipboard manager. So whether you use Alfred or you use um, Paste or uh, Copy Clip, I don't know, there's, there's like a ton of pay, uh, clipboard managers, but do um, you guys know what a clipboard manager is? No. Okay, so a clipboard manager, your clipboard usually only stores one item, right? So if I copy this, I can, I can paste it wherever I want, right? But if I then copy something else, I can paste, the last thing I, I copied. But what if I wanted to copy, what if I want to paste this calendars, reminders, and turbo apps? It's gone, right? I, you can't do it. But with a clipboard manager, it saves everything you've copied, however you set it up. Like, I think it's, I think I have it set up to like the last hundred things or seven days worth of copying. So if I wanted to paste, that thing I copied earlier, it's right here. And then if I wanted to paste um, the Zoom link for the meeting today, I copied that, you know, hours ago, but that's here. Uh, how are you invoking this uh, app? Okay, so Alfred has a shortcut. viewer hotkey oh. option command c so when i push that i get this list you can also see i've got um shortcuts here for uh, command one command two command three mm. so that that makes it faster to you know do my shortcut and then command three paste in whatever was the third item Whereas like the shortcut command five was that number we just copied from the calculator. Okay, so okay, anyway, you. I think everybody needs a clipboard manager because we all copy things. And if you copy a second thing, just on a normal Mac, whatever you copied previously is just gone. There's no way to get it back. 
But with the clipboard manager, you can go back in time. Um, so, you know, it, you'll find different uses for that. What does Alfred cost? That's a good question. The problem is Alfred <laughs> is uh, international. So let's see, 25 lira? Is that is that what it costs? Pounds. Pounds. Okay. I, I. Okay, and so twenty-five. Hey Siri, how much is twenty-five pounds in American money? Yeah. Twenty-five British pounds is thirty-one dollars and forty-two cents. Okay, so there you have it. Thirty-one dollars and forty-two cents. A year. Um, a version, oh, oh. so you can buy a version and just keep using that version. It's like any other software. Um, you know, I, I love the app, so I'm a quote unquote mega supporter, right? So I get free lifetime upgrades. Um, so I probably started with Alfred version two, and this is version four, I think. And I did, you just keep getting the upgrades. So whichever is worth it for you. Oh, it's not a monthly thing. So you buy either one. No, not a monthly thing. You, you buy it once and you've got it. So if you, if you just want to pay the um, 25 pounds, you can keep using that forever until, you know, Mac OS upgrades beyond what you can use, you know, beyond mm -hmm. that point where you can't use it. So... But yeah, so this is like the whole list of all the um, all the features, and most of these are um, most of these are are in the paid version. So there's things like snippets. If you um, if you ever looked at an an app like Text Expander you might be able to get away with just using snippets because hmm. it's kind of like the basic features in text expander. Arlen, uh -huh. is, um, is this, would this be good for searching your documents that you have on your computer? Okay. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that you could do that. You could, you could, you could also do that with Spotlight. Yes. Sometimes it like, doesn't work too well for that, though I noticed. That, that's, what I, that's what I feel like, too. So Alfred is actually pretty good. So, um, you know, you saw me search for a few of these documents. Um, calendar. Oh. Calendar. So I was looking for that handout that Joan sent out. It comes up, it comes up pretty fast. Thank you. I find the Alfred file searching to be very good. How does it compare to just doing Command F from the desktop? You know, the Finder, because that could brings you all your docs. Oh, so yeah, yeah, you can do that, but you have to be in a Finder window. Yeah. So, like with with Alfred, you could be doing anything, right? So mm. I could just be on my desktop, and I could just pull up um that handout that we were working on so but if i was like if i was in a finder window yeah command f and then that's that's going to pull it up too it's not going to automatically select it or open it for me so it's just the speed that you can do do different things arlen can i ask a a, a spotlight question you know, yeah. the spotlight gives you all those things that it's going to search in the web, whatever, whatever. But documents is the most common thing that I'm going uh -huh. to look for. But it's like way down. Is there any way to reorder those things in the list, the spotlight list? I try not, to not like, yeah, not like iOS. Mm, okay. Um, you. What you can do is if you don't use a lot of these, you can uncheck them. Right. And that could make spotlight faster. And if you're like a super, super power user of the app, you can create your own workflows. 
So these are like infinitely customizable um, things you can add to Alfred. So I use Asana a lot. And I can quickly add tasks here. Okay, so there's my new buy a new fan task. To be honest, I don't use remind I use reminders a little for my personal stuff, but Asana is like our work team um, task system. So um, I can use that, use it pretty quickly right from the um, Alfred Alfred bar. Mm -hmm. Does that kind of give you an idea of, of why you would use that? Yeah, makes sense. It's a doer. <laughs> yep, Alfred, he's the butler. He, he'll yeah. do anything makes you sense. want. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, but yeah, if you want to start with Spotlight and just um, start to use Spotlight, and if you start to hit a wall or you're like, oh, I wish this could be a little bit better, then make the jump to Alfred. Fantastic. Good. Thank you. Um, uh, does does anybody else have a request from the list of of apps that he was gonna um, hopefully show us? I know that.